we keep hearing over and over again is you would like to hear more about small companies, small semiconductor companies. And we have one for you today that we've just started nibbling on. It's Onto Innovation. Maybe Nick can tell us a little bit more about this company and what, what it does. Right. Uh, onto Innovation. Emphasis on the fact that we've started nibbling on this company. We'll, we'll talk about why that is here momentarily. But referring to our semiconductor industry flowchart uh, that you made, uh, we refer to this section in the middle quite a lot. Uh, semiconductor and wafer fab equipment company. These are the big, giant, expensive pieces of machinery that chip manufacturers like Taiwan Semi, uh, Intel, Samsung, and so on, they use these pieces of equipment to actually make the chips. So Onto Innovation falls into this segment of the industry, and it's pretty pretty small business. Market cap of about $4 billion right now. I think for all intents and purposes here, for what we talk about, this is a small cap business. So hopefully this is what everyone is uh, is after. Before continuing, let me remind you to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if this video is helpful as you do your own investment research and increase your knowledge of business and technology. We really appreciate the support as subscribing to the channel helps us continue putting out content like this. We're trying something a little new, a little fun for this segment. I asked Google's Bard to help us with a bull and bear thesis for these companies. So we'll start with uh, maybe the bear thesis for Onto. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm curious to see what Google's new AI toy has to say about this. Let's hear it. Okay, so for the bear thesis for Onto, it says Onto Innovation is a relatively new company with a limited track record. Okay, that's true. In its current form, it is the result of a merger between two smaller companies in 2019. Okay, so Bard has that part right. It's a relatively new company. So another point it made, the company is exposed to the cycl cyclical nature of the semiconductor industry, which all of the companies we cover fit this bill. Every, every one of them is exposed to that cyclical nature. What about this one? Onto innovation faces competition from larger, more established companies. Absolutely. So let's maybe pause from what Google Bard has to say about this for just a moment and refer to our next image, which we've showed before, and I think we're going to continue using for the time being. Applied Materials has this nice breakdown of the semiconductor and semiconductor wafer fab equipment market breakdown. So onto uh, plays in this space. Uh, on the far right of the chart, it says PDC and other PDC. So the PDC stands for Process Diagnostic Control. Uh, basically, Onto makes equipment that tests uh, either the wafers or chips or even, even a system of chips uh, for defects. Um, it helps a company control its process of manufacturing to make sure they're getting the highest quality and the highest yield that they possibly can. So it's an important process that can help a manufacturer essentially increase their, their profit margins. That's, that's basically what this is all about because in manufacturing, you're always going to have defects. So this is a way to limit those defects. Um, you'll notice in this chart, the orange is dominated by KLA, KLA core, uh, the ticker symbol on that is KLAC. Um, this is actually a wonderful business. They're actually doing quite well during the present downturn in the semiconductor market. You can see the dark blue there uh, is Applied Materials. Uh, again, one of our, our favorite stocks in this segment of the industry. They dabble in PDC as well. And then there's the gray portion here. Those are other companies besides KLA and Applied Materials, and Onto Innovation would fall into that very small little gray section there under PDC and other PDC on the far right of this chart. Thank you, Nick. That chart really does give us a little perspective, doesn't it? It's a very small slice of the pie in comparison to one of its bit largest competitors, KLA. So that kind of brings us to the next point that Bard had for us. The company's financial performance has been mixed with losses in recent quarters. What would you say to that? 
yes, this is, this is also true. This speaks to the cyclicality of the industry, like you just mentioned. Uh, this is a manufacturing-based business. They, they produce the equipment that helps with the manufacturing. And so any manufacturing business, semiconductors included, you're going to have these ups and downs. So Onto is coming off of a record year in 2022, their first ever $1 billion in annual sales in 2022. They nailed it almost exactly at $1 billion, just to scotch over $1 billion in revenue. And they're probably looking at a downturn, at least through the first half of 2023. Uh, for Q1, they're anticipating about a 17% decline in revenue. And because it's manufacturing, whenever you have a decrease in revenue, you tend to have an even steeper decrease in profitability. So that's what Onto is looking at right now. Uh, a cyclical dip, much like other semiconductor companies are facing at the moment. Okay, very good. So that sums up our bear thesis for this company Onto. Let's move on to the bull thesis of this of the argument. So the first one is Onto Innovation is a well-managed company with a strong team of experienced professionals. Yes, and I think we'll, I think Bard is gonna tell us more about this, but I, I think this is true. One thing that differentiates onto from KLA and applied materials in this PDC segment of the equipment, uh, chip equipment space, is a lot of their machines, especially the metrology machines, that's the measurement of the dimensions of the wafers and the chips is focused on the most advanced nodes of manufacturing. So uh, ASML, uh, the extreme ultraviolet lithography company, uh, responsible for making some of the smallest, most powerful uh, chips on the planet that get used in smartphones and, and AI and data centers. Onto is specifically focused on process diagnostic control of these chips made with EUV lithography. Uh, so it, it, it's an interesting, another, uh, another little interesting company that is kind of a complement to ASML. Remember, ASML is a specialist. It really only does basically one thing. And so Onto helps enable that one thing that ASML does. So chip maker adopts EUV lithography from ASML hey, this is super expensive equipment. We need to adopt some, some quality control equipment from Onto Innovation geared towards these advanced chips. So I think this is a very solid engineering team, I would say, uh, some high-tech stuff that they work on here. Yeah, absolutely. And this, this really segues into what another point that we have here is the company has a strong track record of innovation and growth and it's well positioned to benefit from the growth of the semiconductor industry. And looking at this onto innovation snapshot from the most recent in investment day, you can see there's over 400 pat patents that have been issued for the metrology, inspection, lithography, and software, over 9,000 active metrology and inspection tools installed, and se 75 fabs with their software installed. Yeah, specifically, I like this last chart that you pulled from their investor day, uh, revenue distribution across the semiconductor value chain. Um, so you can see the, the, the column on the left there, the different parts of the manufacturing process onto makes equipment for. So everything from the actual wafer manufacturing itself, that's where the big giant silicone ingot gets sliced up into disks. You think of this as like, um, it essentially is like a big, big giant silicone salami. <laughs> and then they're getting sliced into little pieces. Um, onto helps with that, helps inspect and control that process. The actual fabrication of the wafer itself after, after it gets chopped up. And then after the wafer gets chopped up into little chips and packaged together into a computing system, they help test that advanced system. And then of course you can see uh, the segment breakdown from 2022, advanced nodes and advanced packaging. Uh, that's basically all Onto does. And then the little 17% uh, 
of revenue wedge there in light purple, that's software. So of course, whenever you have advanced uh, diagnostic, uh, advanced uh, quality control, you're basically dealing with data. So Onto provides the data software that companies use to analyze, analyze the quality of, of what they're making. And then on the right there, all sorts of customers, uh, every, everything from you know, top memory chip makers like Micron and SK Hynix, uh, of course, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, Samsung, uh, you name it. If a company is dabbling in advanced wafer and chip manufacturing, there's a pretty good chance that they have a piece of onto equipment somewhere in their factory. Uh, so th this company absolutely has a strong track record of innovation. And I noticed that some of these companies here that use onto are American companies, correct? Companies that are based in the U.S. How is the U.S. chipset going to affect some of these uh, some of the growth that Onto could see. That is an excellent point, and this is the reason why we have started nibbling on the stock, like you mentioned at the beginning, Casey. Uh, there is a downturn that is probably going to remain in force through the first half of 2023, but as you may know, the U.S. Chips Act, uh, which is $52 billion in U.S. government funding to help rekindle chip manufacturing and chip research and development. Uh, the first wave of that is earmarked for chip manufacturing. And specifically, um, the U.S. wants all sorts of chip manufacturing brought back onto its shores. But specifically, there is a bit of focus on bringing advanced chip making out of Taiwan into the U.S., so we've covered that about TSMC bringing some of its advanced manufacturing processes to Arizona in Phoenix, down in Phoenix. Uh, that's going to require new machines from ASML. It's probably also going to require new machines from onto innovation as well to help with the quality control. So uh, we think over the next three to five years, chip equipment companies are going to gobble up the most profit from this piece of legislation. And so onto innovation, we think, uh, has some outsized benefit here. And of course, it's a small company, so perhaps some extra upside uh, as a result. But because of the downturn, we're, we're, we're nibbling at this point. We're, we're taking a cautious approach. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, Nick, what you said. There is a lot of opportunity for growth in this in this part of the semiconductor industry. So another another point here from Bard, the company has strong financial position and is well funded. So maybe you could explain a little bit of the financials to us and where where they stand. Okay, so I have got this data pulled up on our Tucker terminal here. I'll just go through this really quick. Uh, so as I mentioned, Onto's revenue was basically right at, right at $1 billion in 2022. Free cash flow was down a little bit. Uh, some of this just related to, to inventory um, and, and buildup of, of, of different expenses related to that. Free cash flow was $118 million, which is down historically. So about a 12% or so free cash flow profit margin. I think that is low compared to what the company will produce going forward. Uh, net income, gap net income of 223 million. So nice, healthy, over 20% net income profit margin. So I, I think as the company scales and grows over in the years to come, I think these profit margins will improve because this is a small business and it does have a fantastic uh, balance sheet almost 550 million in cash and short-term investments and zero debt. So that's kind of what you want to see with a small growth business. I know that's what we love to look for, for a small emerging growth play, perfectly clean balance sheet uh, to help the company fund its expansion and 
uh, later on down the road, perhaps an increase in in cash returns to shareholders via stock buybacks and maybe a little dividend eventually. So as you mentioned, the $1 billion in revenue last year was a 27% year over year increase. Do you think that we'll see this same increase in the coming year or is there is it going to be affected by some of the slowdown that we've seen with other companies? Uh, the latter, the latter for sure. At best, this is probably going to be a flat year for Onto. Probably declines the first half of the year before perhaps returning to growth the second half of the year. A lot of their growth is dependent on their customers ramping up uh, a new manufacturing process. So that actually happened last year. So like uh, TSM and Samsung both started production on three nanometer node uh, wafers. We're probably looking at maybe a return to growth in 2024 for Onto. Okay. And so we're thinking fair value is around 75 to $80, correct? That is correct. Uh, so the assumption of that is, again, at best, flat earnings growth this year, and then a resumption of earnings growth in 2024 and 2025, somewhere in the 20% range, and then longer term in in our discounted cash flow model, I have factored in for a pretty conservative 5% earnings growth over the long term, discount rate of 11%. We think that puts onto at a fair value of about, like you said, 75 to 80 bucks. But it's a small business. There's a lot of variables here. So we think it's going to be a pretty bumpy ride. So again, just a very small nibble, and we're going to be patient with this one. Okay, thanks, Nick. So this brings us to our final bull case for Onto Innovation. It's a leader in the semiconductor metrology market, which as we've discussed, it obviously is a very top contender in this space. 